Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. Crystal 93, we've got your kids covered this 4th of July. Tomorrow's fishing derby in Frisco is sold out, but you can still watch the competition at Meadow Creek Pond behind Walmart. It starts at 8, and then feed the family at the Pancake Breakfast on 3rd Avenue. That closes down at 11. The Frisco Parade starts at 1. Starting 8.30 a.m. on Main Street Breck, dozens of kiddos will be racing in the 50-yard Strider Bike Race. The Breck Parade starts at 9.30, but get there early for a front row seat. And then head to the Downtown Arts Campus on Washington for chalk art, crafts, and games. Starting 10 a.m. at Rainbow Park in Silverthorne is a patriotic concert with the National Repertory Orchestra. They'll have inflatables and the always popular Instrument Petting Zoo, where NRO musicians introduce young protégés to strings, brass, and woodwinds. This week on the State of Summit, are Mountain Town locals more jaded than ever? Nearly 4,000 residents answered that question in a recent survey, paid for in part by Northwest Council of Governments. They came from Summit, Eagle, Pitkin, Route, and Grand Counties, where 81% of low to middle income residents say quality of life is declining. Just 43% of high income earners agree. Quality of life means many different things. For full-timers, it's affordable housing, transit, and community. For second homeowners, it's the outdoors and recreation. For the wealthiest homeowners, it's attractive tax rates. Some other highlights from that survey, one in four full-timers have lived here less than six years. Just one in 10 were born here. Mountain towns are disproportionately older and wealthier than the rest of the state. Cost of living is a major barrier. There is one second homeowner for every two full-time residents in the high country. That is one of the highest ratios in the nation. 83% of renters say the short-term rental boom has made it harder to find a place. Just 24% of second homeowners agree. Tune in again next week for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. Local fire danger remains moderate today with no fire restrictions today or tomorrow. In sports, the Rockies play the Brewers again tonight at 640. And in local sports, Copper Mountain is pumping time and cash into its lift-serve downhill mountain bike trails. Here's Olivia with Copper. Beginner trails, intermediate trails. We've been working with Gravity Logic, which is the crew that has done Winter Parks and Whistler's Bike Parks. Just a few years ago, Copper had only a handful of trails. Today, they're up to 10, with more on the way. It'll be rolled out in phases over the coming years. We started about two years ago on this project, and we're hoping to add around 22 miles of bike trail here at this mountain. Mountain bike lift haul at Copper is $49 for the day, $349 for the season. It runs daily out of American Eagle Chair, Friday through Sunday at Woodward Express. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.